you are. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach it. In the fullness. The power, the power of your you lift me up, you lift me up in the fullness in the power. You lift me up. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach it to me. Give God the glory this morning. Truly, he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy of all of our praise. He is truly our strength. He is our hope and he is our peace. And I spent the last week or so preparing a sermon for this morning and sat down yesterday evening to write it and I finished it and reviewed it. And I was ready to stand here this morning and preach from the book of Luke. God was said, take no script for your journey. And as I began to listen to the cries of God's people this morning and to the prayer, I had taken a note for a sermon in the future. But the Lord gave me this sermon. I haven't started it, just took a note. And so I pray my strength in the Lord this morning. Um, but our topic is going to be from Luke, say so Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And here's what it says as Paul, but at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying. And singing hymns yes, yes. to God. Yes, yes. And the prisoners were listening to them. Yes, Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Yes, yes, yes. So that the foundation of the prison was shaken. Amen. And immediately, all the doors were open. And everyone chains were loose. For a topic this morning, how to respond to your midnight. How to respond to your midnight. 
Midnight is a dark time. Yes, yes. Not only on the clock, but it's also a dark time in the lives of God's people. Amen. It is time you're not sure if you're going to come out of your midnight. That's right, that's right. But the thing about midnight. That it is, it is also a transition from one day to the next. That's right, that's right. So you may be in your midnight this morning. My Lord, my Lord. But your transition is coming. Yes, hallelujah. At 1201, the transition takes place. The date changes. That's right. From whatever it was to what God has meant. For it to be. New Mount Moriah, your change is coming. And so if you're finding yourself in your midnight this morning, hold on to God's changing hands. Everything is going to be all right. And so when we examine the text, we discover Paul and Silas have been in prison not for doing anything wrong, but for doing everything right for God. Yeah. And so God will have you to know this morning, when you are a child of God, you're not going through because of what they, well, something you've done wrong. But you're going through because you are his child. Yeah. Yeah. But he would have you to know this morning that he would never leave you yeah. nor forsake you. Yeah. So the question becomes, Pastor, how do I respond to my midnight? The text says, but at midnight, the darkest time of the day at midnight. It wasn't noon, it wasn't three o'clock in the afternoon, it was at midnight when Paul and Silas were praying. That's my first point. In your midnight, that's the time you pray and call upon God the most. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's when you call on him, call upon God and ask him, Lord, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Yes. Tell him every hour, I need yes. thee. Yes. Oh, bless me right now, Lord, I, I need thee. Yes. 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 And so if you're in your midnight this morning, Pray without ceasing. Call upon the Lord. He will answer your call this morning. In your midnight, call upon the name of the Lord. And so and said he would come. He would come to your, your rescue. It may be dark. We've heard that weeping may endure for a night, but what? Joy comes in the morning. A shout for joy, a shout for victory will come in the morning. How to respond to your midnight? Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Even Jesus had a Midnight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he found himself in the garden of Gethsemane. Mm-hmm. Well, and he says, Father, if it's possible, let this cup be taken from me. Yeah. Even Jesus had a midnight, but then he said, Not my will, but thou will be done. Yeah. Pray in your midnight. Yeah. Seek the Lord while he can be found the next thing it says they were doing they were singing hymns in their midnight that's point number two the second point being sing your hymns I can imagine Paul and Silas in the midst of their midnight Started to sing, pass me not. It's dark in this prison, pass 
me not. It's dark in this pain, pass me not. It's dark in this sickness, pass me not. It's dark in my financial struggle, pass me not. It's dark in my mind, pass me not. Oh, gentle Savior. Don't pass me, Lord. Don't pass in this morning, but hear, hear my humble cry. And while on others not calling, do not, do not pass me by. So if you're in your midnight this morning, sing hymns to the Lord, call upon him, and he will answer you. And so... They continued to sing, and I can hear them sing, Father, I stretch. Even in their midnight. In the midst of their midnight, they're singing, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. It's dark. I can't see my own hand, but I'm still stretching my hands to thee, Lord God. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other. Hallelujah. That's no other help I know. Father, I stretch. So in your midnight, stretch your hands to your Father and call upon him. Tell him I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I, I need thee. In your midnight, pray. In your midnight, sing hymns to the Lord. And the beauty of it is, is that there are other folks in also in their midnight. And you have no idea. A lot of us are in our midnights this morning, but we're keeping it to ourselves. We are afraid that we are the only ones going through a midnight. The text said that the prisoners were listening. In other words, there were other folks also in their, their midnight. But see, Paul and Silas knew something the other folks didn't know. They knew that Jesus is the bright and morning so that even in your midnight, the light of God can shine upon you. Hallelujah. In your midnight, you can shine. God will shine his light upon you. It says the prisoners were listening. You see, it's bad to be in your midnight and don't have a father to stretch your hand to. It's bad to be in the midnight and have no one to call on. But when you have Jesus in your midnight. Yeah. Hallelujah. He'll turn your darkness into the noon day sun. The prisoners were listening. And there was a great earthquake. And then it says, so the foundation of the prison was shaken. God will shake whatever foundation that you are he will shake it and that you may be loose from whatever has you in bondage the text says and immediately all the doors were open but here's the good part and everyone chains glory hallelujah not somebody but everyone chains were loosened in your midnight the Lord will move on your behalf and break every chain that has you in bondage. That's the kind of God we serve. How to respond in your midnight? Call upon the Lord. Call on him. And he will answer you. He will do for you what you cannot do for yourselves. I thank God this morning. That he wants us to know that there's a way to respond in our midnight. Yes, it's 12 o'clock, but 12.01 is coming. 
The transition from one day to the next is coming. You just keep the faith and God will do for you what you cannot do what for yourselves. Hallelujah. And so, I'm not going to be long this morning, but I had to be obedient. Because somebody needs to know that even in your midnight, you can still pray. You can still sing hymns to God. You can still give him the glory that he alone deserves. Hallelujah. And God, knows, I don't know who you are this morning, but God knows exactly who you are this morning that's going through your midnight. Call on him. Some of us have private midnights. Some of us have public midnights. But we all have midnights. We all have midnights. But blessed is the one that has Jesus to bring him out of his midnight. Hallelujah this morning. Don't give up this morning. You may be hurting on the inside, but joy is coming. Jesus say, my peace I give unto you. Not like the world giveth. Jesus' peace isn't based upon what's happening on the outside. Because he is on the inside. Call upon the Lord. And he will answer you how to respond to your midnight. I need thee every hour, most precious Lord, no tender voice like thine can peace afford. Before coming to church, I read an article out of Atlanta. There was a couple, a power couple, who had moved to Atlanta to reestablish their business there. The wife had written a post, I think on her Instagram, saying how she was going through. And sometimes we do go through. But something happened. The next thing you know, she had killed her husband. And then she had killed herself. 
So many people are going through midnights when you least expect it. But there is good news for us. There's good news today because Jesus will answer you in your midnight hour. And he will turn your life around. Maybe someone here in the congregation right now, here in the sanctuary, may be going through a midnight and, and never have called on the Lord to rescue them. Maybe there's someone on YouTube uh, or on Facebook and you're going through your midnight and have never called upon the Lord. I invite you to call on his name and to experience salvation today. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he died just for you. And the Bible says, you shall be saved. And so I pray today that someone will accept the invitation to salvation today by saying those words. So let us pray together right now. Because there is someone who needs salvation today. And if not, they may have salvation, but they've turned from the Lord or not serving the Lord. Let us pray. Most gracious Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, O oh God, that though there are midnight hours, there is 1201. And so, Lord, we're praying for whomever it may be some man, some woman, some boy, some girl who needs salvation today to believe in Jesus Christ who is our Redeemer, our Savior. And all they have to do is say, Lord, I am a sinner. I've not done wrong. I've not thought wrong. Lord, help me today. I confess my sins. And I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for my sins and he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. Lord, I receive him in my heart right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Someone, they may be watching it right now or they may look at it, look at it at a later broadcast. But if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior today. And you're in the sanctuary at the end of the service. Give your hand to the pastor because you've given your heart to the Lord. And if you're on Facebook or on Zoom or on the other platforms, Lord, just give us a message that you've accepted Jesus Christ today. Your life will never be the same again. And you join with us each Sunday and during Bible study and doing prayer and we know that your life will be enhanced amen we praise God for the messenger and the message this morning amen hallelujah and now pastor will give you our remarks amen hallelujah thank you Reverend thank you thank you Lord for the visitation this morning yeah. upon your people. Let me pray our strength in you. A uh, few announcements. First of all, just a reminder as it relates to uh, church policy about the, our, um, as it relates to COVID-19. We want to ensure that we continue to wear masks, uh, sit with family, and if you're not sitting with my family, try to sit at least six feet apart unless with that person all the time. We want to ensure that we're doing our part to keep everyone safe. When you're coming to the sanctuary, uh, there is a, a sign-up sheet out there. Please sign it for us. These are things that the bishop is asking us to do to ensure that there is an issue. We have a means of uh, contact tracing. Amen. So please sign in, clean your hands, and we will move forward. We want to ensure that we stay safe. Amen. Amen. We're going to have a, an announcement at a church conference to be held on December 6th at 6.30. Uh, we would do it via Zoom to ensure that uh, everyone can participate and also that all boys and auxiliaries begin to organize and to inform me of your elections. Amen. Also, those persons uh, that would like to be considered or 
or would like to return as trustees, please uh, see my wife or uh, Miss Brown, and we will have the intent forms for you on next week. But you can also verbalize that today if those are your intentions. Sister Dixon sent her regards, say she love us, say she miss us, so continue to pray for the Dixon family. Uh, Brother Poole thanked us, he and his wife, for the cards and to, for the prayers, the phone calls, and reaching out to uh, him and doing his time of surgery. He's doing better. I'm looking forward to the next one. Amen. <clears throat> I stated earlier that we're going to move Bible Discovery Hour back uh, to 945, but instead what I would do is a lot allow a lot, 50, 40, uh, 45 minutes, so we start at 10 and conclude at 1045. And that's still enough time for transition so that everyone could be uh, in the sanctuary at 10 as usual. Oh yeah, my wife's telling me nine. You know, I'm getting old, y'all pray for me. <laughs> we start at nine and conclude at 945. No one of you guys are looking at me funny. So. No, I have not been in the student's room, room with that wine. <laughs> That's only on the first Sunday. I'm good today. All right, at 9 to uh, 9.45. Thank you all for that. Also, uh, my mom members who would like to participate in a Girl Trek 5K, uh, Girl Trek 5K walk. Uh, my wife and others will be at Baldwin Trail on this Friday at uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, if you have a Girl Trek shirt, please wear it. Uh, we're going to go out and do a little walking, walk some of that turkey off and dressing. <laughs> and chitlins rod, and pork pot rod, <laughs> and cake. Uh, I'm, hey, amen. So we just want to ensure that we're doing our part uh, to continue to fellowship as a body of believers, yet being safe. Amen. All right, so I was halfway right. Okay, I wish everyone happy birthday for the month. Uh, anniversaries and birthdays are up there. Amen. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. Uh, we had a fabulous um, planning meeting. Uh, it was different, but thank God for it. Uh, we pray God blesses upon our bishop and supervisor and the new pastors in the area that God would bless them. Uh, just remind you on way out of the church, you may leave your offering and at the offering table to my right, to your left, and we're still required to come in one door and exit the other. Amen? Amen. All hearts clear? Hey, Pastor, yes, sir. Mr. Diaz, the love of my life birthday. All right. Happy birthday, <laughs> Sister Weston. Amen. Give a hand. All right. <clears throat> Scarlet birthday was the eighth. Amen. There you go. Happy birthday, Scarlet. I would sing happy birthday to you both, both of you all, but I'm not sure if you'll survive it. You won't be here next year, so I'm going to, I won't do that. I want to see you around next year. Amen. Sister Weed is shaking her head too, saying amen. amen. <laughs> Miss Yolanda Jackson, happy birthday. <laughs> you all are getting me in trouble now, see, because... Amen. Pray for me because I might not make it back to church next Sunday. <laughs> Praise God for whom all blessings flow. <clears throat>
how to respond to your midnight. Grace, peace, and mercy from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, rest will abide in us henceforth and forevermore.